So I'm on my way to my bestie Anna and I know Anna very well. Uh, she's been my best friend for a couple of years and I know that she's about to move and I also know that she hasn't done a clear up of the wardrobe in a very long time. So I have offered her my services and we are going to do a big, big purge of her wardrobe today, which I'm really excited about. I have brought my bottle of bubbles as I think every perch does need a little champagne break in the middle just to make it a little bit more doable. It's going to be really interesting to see how Anna takes to my concepts and if she enjoys the process because I have only done it with a couple of people before and so far some of them have been a bit reluctant at the start but then it's gone really well once they got going so uh, yeah this is a bit of an exciting one today. <laughs> hey yeah. This is definitely a process that needs to be slightly lubricated yeah. because it's a bit full on. As in, in what way? In what way? I'm going to make you get rid of a lot of stuff. And, but I'm not going to make you get rid of anything you love. Yeah. So that's the thing. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to separate the likes mm -hmm. from the loves. And we're going yeah. to be left with like the core of your wardrobe. You're moving. Mm -hmm. So you need to get rid of some stuff. Yeah, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Which is good. This is fun because you haven't done this before. No. Ever? <laughs> it's so exciting. Do you think you have too much clothes right now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you struggle with what you wear? I think, do you find it hard to kind of, yeah. a lot of clothes struggle kind of definitely putting it together? Yeah, like I never really know what to wear on like a night out or if I'm planning something, I literally don't know what to wear. Do you know what's in there? Yeah, but I feel like there'll be things when I'm like, I did not know that was in there. Yeah. Definitely. Like there's a the key stuff that I wear all the time. But there's a lot, I would say I literally wear like 20 plus 30% of the stuff in there all the time and then everything else I just don't. So if you go shopping, what would you say is like a normal amount to spend on an item? Uh, it's variable because I don't I try not to do shopping too much, but I would say depends what it is. Like it's a um, a jump, a How jump, much would you spend? probably like somewhere between like forty and sixty. And what about going out dress? Dress probably more somewhere I'd expect somewhere kind of somewhere between like seventy and hundred if it was like a nice dress. What would you say is your personal style? I wear a lot of black. Mm -hmm. I would say it's like my usual style. I, I probably, I'm either like super casual or very smart. The kind of in between I think I struggle with. I don't have a lot of colour, like black, white, nude colours, kind of like pastel colours. Um, I don't have a lot of like bright colours. And in terms of like shape, fit, and shape. <laughs> in terms of fit and shape, not shape. Shit. <laughs> fit and shape, what would that be? A lot of them, like if I'm going out, usually I would wear like more like fitted stuff to be honest. I would say Apart that. from, yeah, I would say I wear quite a like, fitted stuff. Yeah, and quite elegant. I would say that yeah. you're either very casual, as in like right now, yeah, or you go way towards the elegance. Yeah. And because you have an amazing body, it's nice, you use these like really nicely fitted, you know, silhouettes. And obviously, it's good to know that you're obviously a little bit younger than me, so Anna's 28. <laughs> And I'm 40, so <laughs> we would dress slightly differently. Yeah. But we also, I find a lot of times, our styles actually cross like, Quite similar. Yeah, yeah we, like we borrow stuff from each other, which is really yeah. nice. We're gonna dig in, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a super quick personal style test on you. So we're gonna start with that. Yeah. And cool. let's head to the wardrobe. Are all your things in the wardrobe, or are there other places so where they're more clothes? I have some clothes in my drawers in there as well. And that's and it? Then, yeah. Nothing in the basement or attic mm. or under the bed or no. downstairs hanging. I'm assuming maybe some things in the washing, in the wash? There's a couple of things in the wash, not much, maybe work clothes. And then I've got like one or two coats. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to pick the five items that you think stand the most for your style. So if you would pick your five absolute favorite items mm. out of your wardrobe, and I want you to put them on the bed. So I'll see this skirt and then this skirt and then that top I really do really like this top this top's like a black mesh top I see this is very me the white dress 
I love that. So if we look at that, kind of colour wise, it's not much colour, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's very like black and white. It is very black and white. It's quite dressy. It is quite dressy, yeah. You like to get your legs out? Yeah. Because we have two skirts, two skirts and we have two quite cropped tops. Yeah. Both in black, we got those kind of silky fabrics. We got quite a romantic summer dress. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like Wednesday Adams meets Midsummer. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it does tell us a lot about your style. Yeah. So we definitely are, are looking at quite a, a monochrome, you know, clean palette. But there's a lot of feminine items. Yeah. And I would say that they're quite clean cut, but they have quite a romantic all of them have quite like a romantic vibe to them i love like satiny stuff like i love silky stuff and i love pleated skirts like this is very me like i would wear that all the time probably more than like jeans to be honest and also yeah. it's nice because you have a bit of pattern in there yeah it's not completely black and white it's actually no, a bit and pattern. even that white one like there's a little bit of it's not you know completely plain like it's like i really like this little like the frill if i described your style i would say cute sexy yeah because so. yeah. and it's it suits you yeah. So the good thing about this is we are now going to put these five items in your keep pile. So now we're going to take every item of clothing except for underwear and socks mm -hmm. that you own and we're going to put it on the bed. No shoes, no accessories, no yeah. jewellery, no underwear and no socks. But okay. any like piece of clothing, jackets, coats, anything that's in the wash, mm -hmm. we're going to pop it all on here. Okay. Really similar one. I don't, I've literally never worn it. You've had that Mykonos, yeah, I remember yeah, really this. Young. This was when we were joking, you're making us that all the cats were going to follow oh, you around. <laughs> <laughs> and there's going to be the cats, the crazy cat, the lady. crazy cat lady. She's going to be like, you're going to be floating, and all the cats are going to be yeah. <laughs> we actually yeah. did have cats chasing me, I think, at one point. Yeah. Or like that kitten was playing. I with think it. that's what it came from. So this is everything. That's literally everything. Good. How does it feel? Quite scary. I feel like it's kind of how much I thought it would be. I think I don't actually think it's that much. No, I, I was think it's not too bad. I was expecting more. I had a lot more. I had to do on my first ever purge. I had to do four goes on my bed because really? I just couldn't fit it all. Yeah. We're gonna dig in, and the first thing I want you to do is to pick one item that you really love. That you're like, I am not getting rid of this. This dress. Perfect. Put that in the keep pile on the other side. Another black item. <laughs> Another black item. But it's good. We're keeping we're keeping up with your personal yeah. style. And then the next thing I want you to do is pick an item that you know you want to get rid of. Let me this jumper. Good. So put just put it on the floor. Right here. Yeah. And then we're gonna do the same again. This piece of red dress. Yeah. And then an item you know you want to get rid of. This jumper. Perfect. And we're gonna continue doing this until yeah. we're done on the bed. Keep this. I'd get rid of this. We had some strange dates. We had some really, I have some really funny stories. Yes. Like I have this, that one guy who tried to get in my Uber at the end of the day. Yeah. And I went to get in the car and he like pulled the door to get in with me and I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. And he was like, oh, and I was like, no. I was like, no, like I'm going home. I told him I was going home and he still tried to get in my Uber and I was like, cause I was like, are oh, you not ordering a taxi? And he wouldn't say anything. And I was like, I was like, no, you're not coming with me. You're not coming in my Uber. I was like, you're going I'm to your going house. home. I don't know where you're going. I was like, so you'll be walking home? Yeah, I was actually like, Where's your Uber? I was like, so you're not coming in mine. My words were, what are you doing? It wasn't like, <laughs> what was his face like? He was like, oh, and then I was like, no. no. <laughs> but you know the French guy that came over? Oh, the Carriers? Yeah. He was like, I will revenge my family. <laughs> <laughs> he did a smile the entire day, and then he tried to kiss me with like a cat bum mouth, like the, at the end, and I had yeah, to Yeah, like, that was so funny. I was like, my taxi's here. Like, I had this guy who got pooped on by a bird during the day. Oh, I think I remember you saying, yeah, and yeah. then he, like, just dis disappeared. He disappeared to the bathroom and never came back. 
And I was like, oh. But it's like, even if you were pooed Bye. on your face or your head, you would be able to sort, sure, you know, surely sort that out. Yeah. If, like, I would have thought you could sort that out. At least you didn't leave me with a bill. But still, I was standing there. I think for a good 45 minutes. I was like, oh God, he's pretty struggling, isn't he? And I had to go back into the bathroom. Yeah, that's really strange. And look for him. And he wasn't there. And I was like, oh. Yeah, it's funny how we both end up with boyfriends at the same time. Yeah, like, all three of us have as well. All the three single Mykonos girls ended up in relationships with them in like the next two months after Mykonos. Like first date with Warren, I didn't rate our first date. Oh yeah, I remember you said. Because I, because he was a bit stiff and a bit quiet. And then when we left, and we were, we were kind of parting ways, he, I, I kind of lent in to give him a kiss on the cheek. And he kind of bypassed me and gave me a, a hug with a little pat. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this That's is not go so well. Weird. But then he asked me out like in the next, I think the next morning he asked me out again and i was like i was like he's he's a good looking guy mm. but he just he just didn't say that much it was massive plus he had a kid that was a big plus for me that he had yeah. a child but i feel like like we didn't click on the first day actually if you think about it that is warren he's a little bit more quiet than i am yeah but now that kind of really works for us so now we're getting to the point where it gets a little bit harder i feel like i'm gonna struggle soon let's see i think thing is though all of a sudden when you get, start letting go of things it actually feels really good so remember if you get rid of something you don't love it just opens up the space to get something that you do love that looks similar i mean i don't really wear this but i'm like it's quite good to have a shirt yeah but will there be a shirt that you might like more it's more that if you're having this as a space holder for your white shirt yeah rather put a white shirt on your shopping list and get one that you actually like yeah i don't i haven't worn it but down to the last Five it's so items. hard because these shorts, I love them, but I feel like they're kind of too small for me. Let's leave them on the side and try them on. I might get rid of it. It doesn't sound like you love it. It doesn't fit you no. perfectly. They're very small. Oh, do you want to keep this? Yeah. I mean, we only have those left. Cool. And I think you should try them. And then once you try them, if you're like, mm, they don't fit as well as I wanted them to, get rid. Okay, so we can't decide on these jeans, but we think if we cut them, they will look a lot better. So I think you have nothing to lose. Just give them a cut. Yeah, I much prefer those little festival shorts. Yay! So this is the go pile, and we're now going to separate this one into charity, selling, and friends and family. So that's the charity bag. It's actually really liberating when you actually get rid of things. The only thing is, we anything that goes to charity is going to go to charity today. Because otherwise what happens is that you start rifling in them and going, Oh, do I really want to get rid of that? Do I really mm. want to get rid of this? And you end up actually bringing things out. Like, I think this, even if it's just cheap. I'm gonna sell a few things on Vinted. This the label on, so I can go with that. Anything with a label on, you know it's a bad purchase, because you never I used know, I have, it. I like, three things with labels on. But also, it would sell really well. Like, anything with a label on will sell really well secondhand. I tend to use um, eBay Vestiaire Collective. I've, I'm trying a couple of new uh, places on as well. I haven't tried Vinted, but I think Vinted is a really good option That's as well. That's Essie seems to buy. Yeah, she seems to find a lot. Stuff, Actually, Josephina found her little on Vinted. Did she really? Yeah. You have to be a bit careful with fakes when it comes yeah. to those places because you don't get it verified. I would be, yeah, I would be careful with actual brand designer names if you're buying of places like that that doesn't have verification yeah. was like place like vestia and now even ebay has verification for like high value items it might not be much per item when you add it all together it's a lot more than yeah i reckon once i add it all together i will be able to like quite a fun yeah. game could be to whatever you're making of what you're selling of this you're going to get to buy something for your wardrobe your one item a month something really special that you've been wanting for a long time i literally have had these shorts for like 12 years mm. and i just love them but i just don't wear them it's nostalgia i mean some nostalgic items is fun to keep but you have to keep it to like a very yeah. low amount yeah so like i don't want you to get rid of things because you don't wear them but they're nostalgic to you but also it has to be like really really special pieces then and then you're yeah. going to know that it's always going to be in your wardrobe basically just to be there and you're not actually going to use them. And most of the time, those items you actually end up loving because of what they stand for. It does feel good. It feels amazing. I feel like I'm having like a detox. It is like a detox. You not feel that lighter. It's like toxic stuff, but do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> it feels good. I think anything you but own also, weighs you down a bit. 
Yeah, and also a lot of this stuff, I'm like, I don't actually wear. Every time now when you're putting something in the bag, you know you're going to give it a longer life. You're not using them. So if they can go on to someone that will use them, then you're actually done, you know, the environment a huge service yeah, as well. Exactly. It's just nice to know that something you don't love, someone else might really someone love. Someone else would really like it. Try to set yourself a date or a time when you're going to list it. So yeah. That you know, and list it all in one go. Just list all of it. Yeah, right? take a day, take a Saturday or a Sunday and just list yeah. it all in one go. So then we have the things that we're keeping. And the first thing we need to do is to clear out the wardrobe and make it nice. Mm -hmm. Get rid of any hangers you don't like because you have less clothes now. So you don't need as many. Mm -hmm. And just we're going to hang it and put it all back again really nicely and neatly. And just so you have a really good overview of everything you have left. So we organised all the hangers and we put... Anna's favourite hangers here, and then in order of kind of how much she likes them or not. So now we're going to start putting clothes back. When hanging, you have two options. You're either going to hang based on colour, mm -hmm. or you're going to hang based on category. I do colour and category. So I do lighter on the left, mm -hmm. all the way to darker on the right, and then within the colours I do the categories, categories. as well. I normally would do all colour. All colour, so let's do all colour. Yeah. There we go. We went for colour and a little bit of height. It almost looks like more colour. I think because you can just see stuff more but like, mm. easier. Well now you can see everything that's in here and you don't have to you know have that thing of not seeing your clothes because you have too many clothes. These are all items that you really love. So we're gonna go over to your drawers and, and have a look at a bit of different types of folding. I want this to kind of be the thing that's visible and then I fold them again in the middle like that. And then let's put, I would say to put the jeans normally on the end mm -hmm. and then you stack them. So you stack them this way and then you can see the brand, put them in standing up. So this is a bit of a Marie Kondo, is how she does it with her jeans. Now when they're stacked like this, you can actually see them. Mm -hmm. Normally we tend to put them on top of each other and then we're going to use whatever's on top. So if you do it this way, you um, end up being able to see all your tops and you can choose which ones you have maybe see how much more mm. of an overview you do get yeah you can see stuff better you see already also look how much less space yeah so much more space you've got so much space i have so much space but now you can see it all when you are casual you're usually gym gear sometimes you have to look at your lifestyle like yeah. what do you actually like to wear some people don't need any gym gear because they don't go to the gym and they don't wear yeah. a gym gear some people like loads of gym gear because they go to the gym a lot and they like to just spend time in gym gear a lot of people do make the mistake of comparing their lifestyle to someone else and not realizing what they actually need and what they don't mm. need or they shop for a lifestyle they don't have mm. like i remember when i just moved to london i kept on shopping for partying in sweden <laughs> it's so stupid it's like oh this would be great going out in sweden and it's like well i live in london why mm. am i buying stuff to go out in sweden like i had to check myself massively now you can see all your t-shirts and jumpers and really really well <laughs> it's a big bag well done that's this charity is, this is yeah my charity shop bag it's that's really good stuff. i think it's a lot of stuff i think you did yeah. very well Heavy. big gold star yay <laughs> <laughs> if you look at your wardrobe now mm -hmm. what do you feel like you're missing i think i'll probably want more like summer kind of dresses yeah and more colorful stuff more a colorful little bit stuff. like the red colorful play suit that kind of thing I quite like another big coat that I wear all the time because the black one I literally wear all the time mm. but maybe more more of a spring summer one my long coat's black yeah and it's fur lined so it's like a winter one but mm. like a long more lightweight summer coat like I'd love that because I only wear like denim I've literally got denim jackets and that's it put that on your wish list mm -hmm. and what I want you to do is literally go through the things that you have in your wardrobe and when you are putting things on have a think and go what else could I have that would suit this item mm -hmm. because it's the whole thing of, of getting buying things every time you buy something now yeah you have to make at least three outfits out of it with the things you already have own and mm -hmm. if you can't make three outfits out of it it's not a good purchase and you should take it back mm -hmm. unless it's like an evening dress do you feel like if you look in your wardrobe that the ratio is right i think i need more day-to-day -day stuff like i actually mm -hmm. think i have too much evening stuff like black evening i've got a lot more going out stuff than i do daytime stuff and actually i spend more time in doing daytime stuff than going out if that makes sense so yeah. i actually think i could do with more a few more like casual tops but nice ones like yeah. nice casual tops because i've kind of potentially need 
more of the in between because I've got like the gym stuff, going out mm. stuff, and there's not enough of the like something I could wear if we went for dinner, but yeah. it's not but like a casual dinner, not too dressy, like just nice kind of evening tops that aren't like dresses. Yeah, because you've got a lot of like cocktail dresses, long dresses, yeah. and you have a lot of like gym wear, really, yeah. really casual wear, but not that much in between. Like you have yeah. barely any no. jeans, for example. Yeah. Well, I mean, you Literally don't wear no. jeans that often, but no. like I think next in the future, like think about exactly what you like to wear, what mm -hmm. your lifestyle kind of needs you to wear, yeah. and really hone in on those pieces that's gonna kind of further your wardrobe. Yeah. So whenever you're thinking about, oh, actually, at this point, it would be nice to have this. Mm. Put it, put it on your phone and a little list of things that like, these are the things I'm going to buy. Mm -hmm. And yeah. yeah, it doesn't mean that you have to go out and buy it straight away. It's just that thing of like keeping in your head. Mm -hmm. So the day that you are buying something, you can go, actually, this is on my list. Yeah. So it could either be like, I say the dream list, which is, you know, the dream items you're wanting to have always. And then you have like the holes in your mm -hmm. wardrobe, like for example, like a spring coat. That is a great one to just put on your holes list because that's a hole in your wardrobe. That is mm -hmm. something that would be really useful for you. But you don't really care what brand it is per se. You just want the coat that what the works, coat. yeah. You know, for for that um, particular purpose. Mm -hmm. I want you to think about a few things. Let's say five five things that you think that you need. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look through your wardrobe, look through what you have that you think would be really useful for your wardrobe. Yeah, and that would be great to have for um, just next time you're fashioning. If you're doing one item a month, for example then that's a great little list to be able to refer back to and mm -hmm. see, like, instead of going browsing a shop, you go, actually, what do I need? I what need do I this, need? yeah. Like that. And then if you want to with the things that you're selling, I know you're buying flats, so you might be focusing on that, but otherwise I would say to put away the money that you're making of anything you sell yeah. and buy yourself, like, a dream item. Yeah, put it all together, yeah. Yeah, and buy, like, one thing for it and one thing mm -hmm. that's, like, really special and that you can cherish for, like, forever. Forever. <laughs> You did so good! Yay! Yay. Well done! <laughs> this was so good! I think it was good! You did so good! I feel like I was just like, from, like so good with the throwing out. You were so Normally good. I'm like, ooh. Normally I hold on to stuff. Also, I was like, there's no way, when you were like 50, I was like, there's no way it's 50%. Yeah. I was literally yeah. like, there's no way I can do the same amount of throwing out as keeping. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna end up, and you were like, you must continue. And I was like, <laughs> Well, if I have to, like, it's literally a thing of like, if I have to, then I was like, I will. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. And it's now like, so good. look at this water. It bit. looks so much better. Also, it isn't, it's going to help me so much when I move. Yay. Bye bye. Thank you. And so good. Big applause for Anna. Yeah. <laughs>